Is this working? Welcome guys, this is my first video on my channel. I am your local tech nerd and for my first video I will be showing you how to make an autocorrect system in Python. So before we start, I'll give you a small introduction about myself. My name, my first name is Ryan and my second name is B. Uh, just call me B because it's the first letter of my actual last name which you don't want to know. Uh, <coughs> I'm not a professional in coding, but I'm really interested in tech and all that stuff. So I hope you get so so you get where the name came from. Um, uh, also, please don't bully me for my coding skills because I'll get better over time. That's what always happen. It takes time to <coughs> to master things. And also, don't believe for my English because I'm not a native speaker. Alright, so, so let's start. So the first thing we'll do is get rid of these glasses because they annoy the hell out of me. Then we will need <coughs> so then we'll need a list. We'll call that li the the list words list because if we contain the correct words because if we contain the correct words. There is no way we can get correct words besides this uh, this way, or maybe we will download the words list or something. Not no. I mean, we could just download our words list with with many a lot of correct words. Anyways, this is a basic program. So we write pants. <coughs> yes. Turn out. Um. Word, world, pen, pencil, wait, pencil, crayon, um, walk. Then we will need some variables which are going to help us through the system. So. The system is basically a, a, a for loop which goes through each word of the list and checks if it's if it's the same as the prompt <coughs> as the prompt variable which I'm going to, to define soon. If the word is correct, it writes yes. If not, then it will just it will write uh, it will write a, a partial yes. Else, it won't write, it won't write anything, and I'll tell you why we can't write no. You'll get what I mean uh, later in the video. So the first thing we will write is a prompt input, making the big fancy. Then we'll need a, a set of variables, like a lot of variables which are going to help us through the code. So the first thing is the output variable. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Then, <coughs> sorry. And then we'll need two lists. Uh, I'll tell you why we need the lists later. Then we will need two variables which are going to be the number of characters in our in our prompts. I'll tell you why we need that. So now hmm let's name it um Stupid counter. Okay, just kidding. <coughs> name it Carno. Uh, let me put it. Uh, yeah, at three. Then we need num num string um, string calls three. So. The reason we need that is because to automate things a bit. So if car wait if length of prompt is smaller than three, no, I mean is three, then print. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Car no equals three num string 
equals 3. Elif when prompt equal uh, is equals or is bigger than 4, then car num is 4, and num string is 4. So now we need we start our main system which is for word in words list. The first thing we need we do is check the length of the prompt. So if then prompt smaller than car no Yeah, if length of prompt is smaller than carnum, then print a formatted string which says must have more than <coughs> num string characters. Let's try it out. Let's try the system out. Okay, so who? Yeah, I forgot. Uh, I'm ending. So we need to break the system <coughs> because <coughs> the system actually goes through each word. So the more words we have, the more this will be written, which is why we need to break the system once done. So no, must have one of the characters. If it's well, I won't do anything because it has four characters. All right, let's try again. Whoa. All right, <coughs> now let's start with our main main system. Print e prompt equals word, then print yes, a forced string, which I mean, we got the forced string. All right, so yes, and break. So the so that the mistake has happened here, this has happened again. Then elif prompt is not equal to word, then print no. So, whoa. yeah, I forgot to wait. Break. I say pant, yes. But if, for example, <coughs> you write pant, it's right no. But the thing is that it's actually correct. And we don't have it on our list, so we want it to, to predict if it's if it's somehow correct in the list or not, even though it's not the same as the exact word. So what we will do is create two for two for string two, two for loops. So for car in word, you'll get <coughs> one. So for character in words list words list not index word so for each character in the words list by the index of the words so it will go through each word in the word so 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 like you could do just you could just write Sorry, we'll just write um, word, but it's better to write it that way because it will cause a, bu a bug if you don't do it that way. So if not wait, if length of list one. So the first list is what we will use to append the third, the first three characters of the list. Uh, the first three characters of the word. Because <coughs> that's basically how, like, it's the most basic way, as far as I know, that we could use to detect if the word is partially correct. <coughs> <coughs> so, if length, then list one, append car. And we'll do the same thing again. So, wait. 
Taxi for car in front then you turn it into list 2 list. now let's just print the list check if everything's going right if, if, if everything's going well so print list 1 list 2 right so we're so we have the yeah <coughs> we have first three letters of this of this word and the first three letters of our prompt is our word obviously but what if you write word we have pant in word all right so if you might be saying but hey Ryan how are you going to do this for each word in the list if it only writes one word if, all, if it only detects the first word of the list well what we will do is pretty much of mag magic so we come here and write if list 1 equal to list, list 2 also be, it, it will be output equals word I'll tell you why we need the output variable. List one does clear and list two to not clear. And we need to break it because if you don't it will just it will just uh, freak up. So <coughs> and if list one is not equal to list two, then it just clears the first list and <coughs> no way <laughs> this whole sucks clear and we cannot break this uh, this like what's this yeah we can't break it here because if we do then the whole thing will stop so it should only detect the first word if it's correct then it will just do this if not it will break the whole system and we can't write anything because it because because since we can't break the system we cannot well we cannot like, just spam no uh so maybe we could do some system that can like do that job for right now it's not correct but <coughs> let's just keep it simple all right so oh we also need to i need we need a boolean because I'll tell you why. So just print a format string of um, output. Yes, uh, partial yes. Uh, all right. Now I'll explain again what we have done here. So just make it a bit cleaner alright so what we did here is check if it's correct or not so the first thing I mean we need we did is check the length of the character to make the, the script run smoothly and more <coughs> will make more sense then we check if the word is correct. So if it's word, then yet correct. And yes, else if not, if it's not correct. It takes two lists. One list is up in three characters of the of the word. So the, of the of this word variable here, <coughs> and appends them to that list, and then just does the same thing to the prompt, and then it checks if the lists are correct. If they are correct, then out the print. Output will be partial yes, else not. It will just do continue to loop. If the word is not correct at all, it won't do anything else. Then you see. So <coughs> system. But this is why I told you we don't we need. This is why I told you we need the the boolean because it will keep writing partial yes if, if the word is correct. So because. At the end, it 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 uh, it just does this without any condition. So we the first thing we need is to uh, 
to define a boolean variable which is going to be set by default to false <coughs> and you can here, then you come here and if corrected you should just do this all right and here we set the, the variable to true save it now um, pants yes pan pants partial yes word yes world yes and or or partially yes all right guys uh, I hope you like the video like it's not really that hard I mean it took me around two hours to make which is not really a long <coughs> a long uh, duration especially for a new by newbie like me you know two hours literally type in try and try and again you know easy stuff I'm being sarcastic right now, so yeah. I hope you liked the video. I will put the the, <coughs> the link in the description if you want to download the script. I mean, it's not really something hard, but you know, some support would be nice. Uh, you don't really need to credit me if you want to use it, but it would really mean a lot because uh, it would motivate me in all that stuff. So yeah, I hope you're having a great day. Peace out.